Coffee Break Italian, Season 2, Episode 3. Buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti a Coffee Break Italian. Io sono Mark. Salve a tutti, io sono Francesca. E sono Ella. E siamo molto contenti di essere qua con voi. We're back with another episode of Coffee Break Italian and in this season of Coffee Break Italian we are aiming to help you to use the language, to manipulate the language and to learn to say what you want to say. That's right, Mark. So far we have been discussing regular other verbs and what we do at the weekend. But what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to take the adi verbs a little further and also look at them within the context of daily routine. And this will also give us an opportunity to look at a specific type of verb to do with daily routine. But all will be revealed a little later. Before we get to today's lesson, I just would like to review one more Ari verb and we're going to put Isla on the spot, if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to conjugate the verb arrivare, to arrive. So Isla, over to you. Arrivo, arrivi, arriva. Arriviamo, arrivati, arrivano. Perfetto. Okay, so that is arrivare in the present tense, conjugated perfectly by Ayla. I think it's time to get on with our lesson. Sì, mettiamoci al lavoro. E io vi ascolto. So we've been practicing some of these regular are verbs, including ones that end in iare or care or gare. Sì. It's now time to put them into a bit of a context because I think what I'd like to talk about today is daily routine and the kind of things that we do every day and that we do at certain points in the day, certain times in the day, because that gives us also the opportunity to practice and to review our times. Va bene? Benissimo. Ok. Allora, ho una domanda per te, Francesca. A che ora prepari la colazione normalmente? Normalmente preparo la colazione verso le sette e mezza. Ok, le sette e mezza. Ok, sì. so half past seven. Sì. And of course I'm asking a che ora, what time, at what time, prepari, using the two form of the verb preparare, to prepare, la colazione, breakfast. So, a che ora prepari la, colaz- la colazione? Sì. And Francesca's response was? E preparo la colazione alle sette e mezza. So, what we're going to see is this pattern of the E form, the ending E, prepari, as a question, and then the answer with the O form, the first person singular form of the verb, preparo, the second person singular in the question, prepari, a che ora prepari, preparo. Okay? Allora, ad esempio, a che ora arrivi al lavoro? Arrivo al lavoro alle nove. E tu, Mark? Allora, dipende. Qualche volta lavoro in casa. Allora, arrivo al lavoro alle otto. Prestissimo. Prestissimo. <ride> sì. Qualche volta lavoro nell'ufficio. Mm-hmm. Allora, arrivo al lavoro verso le nove, le nove e mezzo. Ah, ho capito. So, depending on where I work, whether I'm working from home, obviously I work earlier from home, but if I'm going into the office, then I'll work a little later. So that's arrivare, to arrive. Arrivo, arrivi. And then the rest of the verb would be... Arriva, arriviamo, arrivate, arrivano. Okay. Let's think about another verb. Another verb ending in are that we can use to have lunch. Pranzare. Lovely verb, pranzare. Can we say mangiare as well? Sì, but mangiare is more... General, pranzare oh. is having lunch. So to have lunch, il pranzo, sì. we can say pranzare, sì. to have lunch. Allora dimmi, Francesca, che ora pranzi? Uh, di solito pranzo a luna. A luna, ok. E tu? Di solito pranzo un po' più presto, alle dodici e mezzo. Ah, ok, okay? va bene. Perché ho fame. Sì, perché <ride> lavori presto anche. Forse. <ride> so pranzi. You have lunch, pranzo, I have lunch, pranza, he or she has lunch, and so on. Con chi pranzi? Eh, Di solito pranzo con i miei colleghi. Okay, 
So, con i miei colleghi, with my colleagues. Perfetto. Allora, un'altra domanda. Sì? A che ora torni a casa? Um, dipende. E... Di solito alle, alle sei. Alle sei, ok. So, torni a casa, you get back to the house, you return to the house alle sei, at about six o'clock. That's from the verb tornare, to return. Torno, I return. Torni, you return. And let's go through the rest of the, the conjugation. He or she returns. Torna. We return. Torniamo. You all return. Tornate. They return. Tornano. And we've heard siamo tornati many sì. times. We're back. Siamo tornati. We have returned. Sì. Or we're back. Siamo tornati. And that's from the same verb, tornare. Tornare a casa, to go home. E a che ora ceni? Ceno normalmente alle otto. So this time we're not talking about pranzare, but cenare. Sì. This time is to have dinner, to dine. To dine. Again, we could use mangiare, but that's a general verb to eat. But cenare is the verb that you would use to dine when you're eating in the evening. Sì. Allora, tu ceni alle... Alle otto, verso le otto, sì. Alle otto. Io di solito ceno un po' più, più presto. Uh-huh. Ceno alle sette. Alle sette, ok. Ok, ceno con la famiglia alle sette. Qualche volta, se non sono a casa, mangio in un ristorante verso le otto. Ho capito, buona okay. idea. <ride> se non sono a casa, if I'm not at home, mm-hmm. ceno o mangio in un ristorante, in un restaurant, verso le otto, around eight o'clock, verso, towards, sì. literally, towards eight o'clock. E dimmi, cucini tu? Certamente, cucino sempre. Benissimo. Uh, qualche volta cucino io, ma qualche volta cucina anche il, mia moglie. Ah, sei un bravo cuoco? No, lei sì che è una, <ride> una brava cuoca. <ride> ok, ma un'altra domanda molto importante. Lavi i piatti? Eh, dipende. <ride> A volte uso la lavastoviglie. La lavastoviglie would be the dishwasher? Sì. Ok, so lavare i piatti. We've done a couple of verbs there. Cucinare, to cook, and lavare i piatti, to wash the dishes, mm-hmm. or to clean the dishes, if you like. Cucinare, cucino, cucini, cucina, cuciniamo, cucinate, cucinano. Sì. Cucinano. Cucinano. Sì. <laughs> e poi lavare, lavo, lavi, lava, laviamo, lavate, lavano. Sì. Ok. E poi, che fai durante la sera? Um, a volte guardo un film... Ok, so a volte, sometimes, at times, guardo un film. We heard guardare in a text in the bonus episode last ah, time, sì. which is to watch, guardare. E dimmi, se non guardi un film, che cosa fai? Se non guardo un film, magari leggo un libro. Ah, uh-huh. oh, a couple of things in there. Magari, a wonderful word. <laughs> kind of means even. Or, sì, or maybe, maybe perhaps. Quite a tricky word to, sì, to translate. Sì. Magari. But Francesca said, leggo un libro. And that's from a, a verb that we've not really looked at in any oh, great yeah. way. Leggere, it's an ere verb. It's E-R-E at the end. And we're going to be looking at that next time. So sì. we'll not say any more about leggo at the moment. But leggo means I read. read. Okay. A volte poi, quando sono veramente stanca, mi addormento dopo cena. <laughs> ok, no, let's get Francesca to say this again. Sì, e a volte poi, quando sono veramente stanca, mi addormento dopo cena. Ok, so she's talking about when she's veramente stanca. Sì. Stanco, stanca means... Tired. Tired. Ok, I think we've come across that before. Quando sono veramente stanca, in Francesca's case, when I'm really tired, mi addormento sì. dopo cena. I fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Now, that's an interesting word. First of all, dorm, we've got D-O-R-M in there. So it's linked in some way to dormire. Dormire, sì. The verb to sleep. Indeed, if you think of a dormouse... Dormouse, I think dormice sleep a lot. Well, at least that's the way I remember dormire. But you've got addormentarsi. 
because it's mi addormento. You said mi addormento. Mm-hmm. And in Italian, mi addormento means to fall asleep. But it's an interesting kind of verb. It's actually what we call a reflexive verb. And that's when you kind of do something to yourself. So you fall yourself to sleep. That kind of idea. idea. We've come across this before, of course, with the very, very well-known expression, I call myself. Si, mi chiamo. So mi chiamo, we know it as my name is or I'm called. But literally, as we've mentioned before, it means I call myself. And that also is an example of a reflexive verb. Now, reflexive verbs work very similarly to the other verbs that we've learned so far. But the difference with a reflexive verb is you have to add this extra part called the reflexive pronoun before the verb itself. So Francesca said there, mi adormento, mi adormento. And the mi part there refers to myself. Let's take a perhaps a, an easier verb okay. to, to, to deal with because adom, adormentarsi is, is a little bit tricky to yes, pronounce. Yes, it's very long as well. Let's take, let's take uh, alzarsi. Okay. Alzarsi. So this is a little easier to, to pronounce and this one means to get up. Si. So it's when you get out of bed in the morning, you, you use the, the, the word alzarsi mm-hmm. just to explain how that's spelled. A-L-Z-A-R-S-I. Now, the actual verb itself is alzare. Si. But the C part that goes on at the end is what makes it reflexive. That's the reflexive pronoun stuck onto the end of the infinitive, if you want the kind of grammatical Uh explanation. Yes. But let's think how that works. It's a normal A-R-E verb. It's a normal are verb. So the parts of the verb all work exactly as we would expect. Without the reflexive parts, then, let's quickly go through the whole of alzare. Si. Alzo, alzi, alza, alziamo, alzate, alzano. So alzare, on its own, means... To lift, to raise. Yeah, so for example, you could raise the price of something. Si, alzare il prezzo. But when it's used reflexively... You're literally raising yourself yeah. out of bed. <laughs> You're levitating out, out of <laughs> bed in the morning. Idea. <laughs> so what we need to do, making it reflexive, is put on these reflexive pronouns before each part of the verb. The I part is easy. I raise myself. Mi alzo. So mi, a separate word, goes on in front of the verb. Mi alzo. How do we? How would we say you levitate? You raise yourself. <laughs> Ti alzi. So you get up. Ti alzi. I get up. Mi alzo. You get up. Ti alzi. So the reflexive pronoun there, to give it its fancy word, is ti. Ti. Ti before the you part of the verb, and notice that the ending changes as we would expect it to for the you part of the verb. Mi alzo. Ti alzi. What about he? Or she gets up. Si alza. So there we have our reflexive pronoun, si. Si alza. He or she gets up. Then we move to the we form, the noi. Ci. Ci alziamo. So there our reflexive pronoun is ci. Ci. It's written ci. Ci alziamo. Ci alziamo. And then the you plural form. Vi. Vi alzate. So we've got the reflexive pronoun V for you plural and then the normal form of alzare in the plural, the you plural form, alzate. Vi alzate. And then finally, the they form. Yeah, it's the same as uh, he and she. Si. Si alzano. So the same reflexive pronoun as he and she, the third person singular, the third person plural for they, themselves, would be si, in this case, alzano. Si alzano. Perfetto. Let's go through the whole verb. We'll see all six forms here and you can repeat after Francesca. Mi alzo. Ti alzi. Si alza. Ci alziamo. Vi alzate. Si alzano. Okay, so we can now add this to our range of expressions for talking about daily routine. And when it comes to the practice part of this episode, we're going to be asking some questions about what time do you 
get up in the morning? What time do you wake up? What time perhaps do you wash yourself? What time do you fall asleep? All these verbs, which we'll see a little later on, are reflexive verbs. I think we'll leave it there for now. Okay. <laughs> Here at Coffee Break Italian, we want to help you turn your downtime into do time. Vuoi fare un po' di pratica? Join us on Facebook three times a week and put your Italian to work with our language challenges and cultural insights. As they say, practice makes perfect, or in italiano, la pratica rende perfetti. Head over to facebook.com slash coffeebreakitalian. A presto allora! Welcome back to Coffee Break Italian. Today we're looking at more are verbs. We're also looking at reflexive verbs and talking about the times at which we do certain things during the day. And it's now time to put all of this into practice with Ayla. Ayla, come andata? Tutto bene? Tutto bene. Tutto bene, perfetto. Allora, abbiamo qualche domanda. We've got some questions for you. Francesca, what's your first question for Ayla? Sì, allora, la prima domanda, Ayla, a che ora arrivi all'università? Now, before we put Ayla totally on the spot here, let's think about what this question would mean. A che ora, which means? At what time? Arrivi. Do you arrive? All'università. At university. Okay, so, a che ora arrivi all'università? And in all of these questions, we're asking you something. So the ending of the verb will be arrivi. There's an E ending, the letter I. And therefore, you'll turn that round into the I form, which will end, of course, in... O. O. So, a che ora arrivi all'università? Arrivo all'università alle nove. Okay, so Ayla arrives at university at... Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, <laughs> perfetto. Ok, Francesca, la seconda domanda. Sì, numero due. E, um, a che ora pranzi? No, this is from the verb pranzare. Ayla, can you remember what that means? Would that be, what time do you have lunch? Exactly. A che ora pranzi? What time do you have lunch? Nice straightforward question. So the answer would be? Pranzo a luna. Pranzo a luna. Remember to bounce on that double L there. Per pranzo a luna. Pranzo a luna. Pranzo a luna. Perfetto. Ok, ancora una domanda. Perfetto. Sì, numero tre. A che ora torni a casa? So we're looking at another are verb here. This time torni from the verb tornare to... Return. Return. Ok. The question therefore means a che ora torni a casa? What time do you return to your house? Ok. Allora, a che ora torni a casa? Torno a casa alle quattro. Perfetto. E la, l'ultima domanda. Sì, l'ultima domanda. A che ora ceni? Ceni. Which verb would that come from? To have dinner. To have dinner, which in Italian would be? Cenare. Cenare, cenare. So, a che ora ceni? Ceno alle sette. Ceno alle sette. Again, remember your bones. Ceno alle sette. Ceno alle sette. So you have dinner at seven o'clock. Fantastic. Now, we also looked at some reflexive verbs. And these are the verbs that you do to yourself. So, for example, you wake yourself up. Francesca, come si dice to wake yourself up in italiano? Sì, si dice svegliarsi. 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 It's quite a tricky word to get a lot of consonants in there. Svegliarsi. So, how would you say, Ayla? I get or I wake up, I wake myself up because there's a different word that you have to put in here to begin with. I wake myself up, let's say, at six o'clock. I wake myself up at six o'clock. Mi sveglio alle sei. Mi sveglio alle sei. Ayla, listen again to exactly how Francesca pronounces the S of sveglio. Mi sveglio alle sei. Mi sveglio alle sei. Perfetto. Okay, so I wake up at six. Then waking yourself up and getting yourself up are different things. <laughs> so to wake up is svegliarsi, but to get up is... Alzarsi. Alzarsi. So again, we're taking off that arsi ending 
and we're putting on the ending for I and remembering that reflexive pronoun. How do you say I get up at 6.30? Mi alzo alle sei e mezzo. Perfetto. Mi alzo alle sei e mezzo. Anche si può dire alle e sei mezza, e mezza. Sì. mezza. Mezza o mezzo. Tutti due. Okay, now, Ayla, can you remember the verb to do or to make? Is it fare? Fare. So, in Italian, to have a shower is to do to yourself or to make yourself a shower. So could you work out what that would be? Farsi una doccia. Farsi una doccia. Now, farsi and fare are actually irregular. Although it's an are verb, it is a bit irregular. And we do know, however, the first person singular of this verb. Francesca? Sì, we know faccio. Faccio. Okay, we've come across faccio before. For professions, for example. Exactly. So, how would you say, for example, I am a teacher? Faccio l'insegnante. In that case, you say, I do the teacher. Sì. Or I make the teacher. Faccio l'insegnante. So, here, we're going to use faccio, but we've got to make it reflexive. So, we put the reflexive pronoun before it and say... I make myself a shower. Mi faccio una doccia. Perfetto. Mi faccio una doccia. Francesca. Sì? Can you think of any other are verbs that we could use reflexively to do with our daily routine? Sì, ad esempio, truccarsi. Questo non è veramente quello che dico io. Io non mi trucco. No, ma ad esempio per carnevale o ah, Halloween. Sì, <laughs> so, truccarsi is to, well, to put on your makeup. Sì. Ok. Un trucco is a trick. Sì. Is this like tricking yourself into looking a particular way? Yeah, let's say so. Ok, I, I, I could get into very dangerous waters here, so I'm not going to okay, go to let's any further it. on that. Um, so... If it's truccarsi, then we can take off the arsi. And what ending do we add, Ayla? O. Oh. For I make up myself, I put on my makeup. Yeah. So how would I say or how would you say I put on my makeup? Mi trucco. Mi trucco, okay. And something else we may do, I'm thinking about perhaps before leaving the house in the morning. Sì, molto importante, lavarsi i denti. Okay, Ayla, can you work out what that means? Is that to brush your teeth? Exactly. Literally, to wash oneself the teeth. Okay? okay. In Italian, we say to wash oneself the teeth. You don't say my teeth, but the teeth, because you do it to yourself. Lavarsi i denti. So, taking off arsi, how do we make this into I wash myself? Mi lavo denti. Mi lavo i denti. Mi lavo i denti. I wash myself, mi lavo, to me I wash, the teeth, i denti. Mi lavo i denti. Mi lavo i denti. Okay. Let's put this into practice a little more. Francesca's going to tell us when she does all these things in the morning. Allora, dai Francesca. Okay, allora, vediamo un po'. Eh, mi sveglio alle sette, ma mi alzo un po' più tardi, mi alzo alle sette e un quarto, sette e mezza, dipende. E poi mi faccio subito una doccia, e faccio colazione, ovviamente, e a volte mi trucco, ma non sempre, e poi verso le otto, quando vado al lavoro, mi lavo i denti. Perfetto. Allora, Ayla, hai capito tutto? Um, penso di sì. Ok, let's go through it again. Francesca, puoi spiegare un po'? Sì, allora, mi sveglio alle sette. So you get up at seven o'clock? Ok. E mi alzo un po' più tardi, alle sette e un quarto, sette e mezza. So you roughly get up between quarter past and half past seven? Mm -hmm. Sì, e mi faccio subito una doccia. So you have a shower immediately? Sì, sì. E faccio colazione. And that's your having breakfast? Aha. Uh -huh. E a volte mi trucco, ma non sempre. Sometimes you put on your makeup? Sì, perfetto. Ma non sempre, but And, not... But not all the time. Not always, sì. E um, verso le otto, quando vado al lavoro, mi lavo i denti. So you brush your teeth at eight o'clock and then you leave for your work. Sì, perfetto, brava. Brava. 
quando vado al lavoro, when I go to work. Now, vado is from andare, another are verb, but it's irregular. Yeah. So we've not quite covered that one yet, although we have covered it earlier in, in Copy Break Italian Season 1. Now, that's been lots of practice already, but I think there's still time for a couple of translation sentences. So perhaps, Francesca, you could give us our translation sentences for this episode. Sì. Si. Allora, numero uno. Iniziamo, numero uno. Sandra arrives at work at 8.30. Okay, we're looking at the verb to arrive. And we need to think about the third person here because we're talking about Sandra. Sandra arrives at work at 8.30. Okay, Ayla. Sandra arrives at work at 8.30. Sandra arriva al lavoro alle 8 e mezzo. Ok, bravissima. Sandra arriva al lavoro alle 8 e mezzo o mezza. Ok, tutti e due. We can see 8 e mezzo or 8 e mezza. Ok, numero due, per favore. Sì. Normally, we have lunch at the restaurant with my mother. Okay, now that word normally, we've heard it a couple of times in this lesson. Can you remember what it is, Ayla? Uh, is it di solito? Di solito, sì, sì esatto. Mm. Di solito. So normally we have lunch at the restaurant with my mother. Okay, Ayla. Di solito... Pranziamo al ristorante con mia madre. Molto bene, bravissima. Di solito pranziamo al ristorante con mia madre. Ok, Ayla, can I ask, what would it be if it weren't with my mother, but with my family? Ah, I know what you're getting at here. Would it be con la mia famiglia? Sì, bravissima. Ok, number three, numero tre, per favore, sì, Francesca. Sì, eccomi. They return home at 6 p.m. every day. Okay, every day. Are we okay with every day? Ayla? Yes, would that be ogni giorno? Ogni giorno, sì. Okay, so they return home at 6 p.m. every day. Allora, Ayla. Tornano a casa alle 6 ogni giorno. Ok, molto molto bene. Tornano a casa alle 6 ogni giorno. E per finire, numero 4. Sì. At what time do you brush your teeth? And it's a you singular. Ok, and of course to brush your teeth is a reflexive verb, so we need to think about that little reflexive pronoun in there. At what time do you brush your teeth? Or really, at what hour do you brush you? The teeth. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It sounds so natural in English when we say it like that. At what time do you brush your teeth? Okay, Ayla. A che ora ti lavi i denti? Perfetto. Perfetto. Sì, <laughs> bel coro. Okay, so. A che ora ti lavi i denti? A che ora, at what time, ti... To you, lavi, wash, i denti, the teeth. So you wash oneself, the teeth, in Italian, as okay. we've, we've spoken about already. That's where we're going to leave this episode of Coffee Break Italian. Of course, there are lots more opportunities to practice your Italian over at coffeebreakitalianplus.com and that's where you can access our video versions of each lesson so that you can see on your screen of your device or computer how all of these words and phrases are written. We have lesson notes explaining all the material covered and a few bonus lesson notes as well. And there's also additional audio materials, more translation questions for you to practice how to translate into Italian and out of Italian. You can access all of that at coffeebreakitalianplus.com. And don't forget, you can practice your Italian by joining us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash coffeebreakitalian or just search for Coffee Break Italian. In fact, this week, why don't you tell us about your daily routine by posting on Facebook using all those reflexive verbs. E ovviamente siamo anche su Twitter. Seguiteci su Twitter, follow us on Twitter. You can find us at Learn Italian. 
E allora è tutto per oggi, grazie a tutti e alla prossima! Sì, al prossimo episodio, ciao! Arrivederci! You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>